Have you brought two girlfriends home at the same time? On oh, different yeah. days? Different days? What? 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 what, what I'm stuck Wait, you're in first place, you said? Let me drop this in my face. Different days? What? 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 what, what yeah. Welcome to the next episode of LL's The Truth. I have special guests with me, Caprice, Jada, Daniel and Stephanie. Hello. Hello. Hi. So today, or in this episode, we're going to talk about um, next stage vetting. And what I mean by that is there comes a point, I suppose, when you've been going out with somebody and they uh, meet the criteria for you to introduce them to parents or even family members. And it's about when is that point? When is when is it the time that you can do that? So, when do you consider that? You know, at what stage of your relationship do you think, okay, all right, let me see, I'm going to invite you to speak to mum and dad, or do you ever even think there's ever the possibility that that's going to happen anyway? Um, <laughs> I feel like with my mum, I can do it at like the early stages because my mum's just. You know, she just watches and observes. Mm. With my dad, um, then my partner will be meeting him on the wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Um, my dad's a very serious person. Mm -hmm. And I feel like on the wedding day, it would be a very serious occasion. <laughs> to show commitment. Uh -huh. um, and I feel that's the most appropriate time. Do you think it's that you would, your dad wouldn't know that you're in a relationship? Or he's just never met the person you're in a relationship with? Um, both. 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 Yeah. <laughs> never know that I'm in a relationship and the other point that you made. Okay. <laughs> you know? I feel like that's the best way yeah. to be. I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe your dad could find out about, about him and then How? tip you off. How? How? If you told him beforehand. Because no. this is... Do you know what? You're saying words that I just... <laughs> <laughs> that's a commute. Um, no, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> well, what I'm trying to say is, when we're talking about the vetting process, so part of that vetting process could be that you, for instance, if you weren't comfortable telling your dad because it's serious, you might decide to tell a sibling, for instance. Yeah? yeah. Um, and that sibling might say, okay, what's the details name? What's the... Red, you know... Who are they related to? Even to the point, what parish them come from? Mm -hmm. you know I mean? So, <laughs> I so think it's different be... though. It's different when a sibling's doing it because they're kind of almost on your side. Yeah. Mm. Whereas a parent's like, the let me find, find a reason, reason why they're yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, hold on, but that could work both ways. If they're on your side, but then they find something. That yeah. I would take that. that with a, yeah, 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 I'd I take that more. But I feel like I got very good detective skills. Yeah. yeah. So I did a deep dive into that guy's life without him knowing. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like I can I can do that by myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I watch too many CSI, you know, <laughs> True Life Detective Show, MI6, MI6, you know. MI5, FBI, you know, yeah. Facebook, Instagram. Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> Instagram LinkedIn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I laugh, but I'm being mm -hmm. so serious. Mm -hmm. I need to know. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? I mean, would you introduce, at what point do you think it's right to introduce your partner to your parents what's your consideration when you do that um given that like, probably weeks notice and what and around you know yeah but what stage of your relationship what, yeah, when like, you... like literally like the first day or first week first day of your relationship you're yeah. going to introduce to your parents really yeah okay. I, I, well i have done previously yeah i think was that, that a mistake no it was all right oh, that okay. was different strokes for different well, well, mm. okay that's unusual all right, but I think, is everybody else saying that they're going to wait a little longer or... Mm. How about you? Um, it's hard. I think when, I don't know, I don't think there's a set time that you can put on it. I think it depends on where you are in that relationship. If you like, if you've been together for a while and you think it's going somewhere, mm. then it would make sense. But I think both of you have to be ready to do that. Like, mm. yeah. Yeah, but it could be a big deal, couldn't it, Caprice? For instance, if you're invited to a family gathering mm. and then you're bringing this person, 
that mm, you know that is a big, big I'm trying deal. to I'm trying to understand at what stage of this situation do you think it's right to bring that person to because I know some of us come from some large families I feel like mm. needs, lots of opinions I feel like it needs to be cemented not cemented but it needs married to, over there not even married. <laughs> <laughs> you know some people are not gonna do that after off back I'm different I'm not gonna bring anyone around unless I know, part, yeah. Said. But yeah. other people, they probably more have a flexible approach to see how they interact with family. Are you family mm. oriented? One of the things that you have to do is put them in front of family to know that. Mm. But you just need to prep them to know why with my family anyway. You're going to get 101 questions who are you, what mm-hmm. you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so are you serious? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've got uncles, you know. I've got, I've got cousins, mm. we'll find you. Mm. <laughs> So you just have to prepare them for that. Mm. Yeah. But my approach is that no one's going to know until they know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. I'm that one girl in the Instagram, Instagram picture, you'll see the hand. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, so, really, so do you not feel a way if, so, for instance, your better half is on Instagram all the time? Mm-hmm. But then never post anything about you. Do you think do you would, would you have an issue about that? No, I was no. having that conversation today. Mm. I don't know if it's what I I won't post it either. Yeah, you want people flocking me from my husband? That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. She's not yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so you're saying you're you don't want to introduce your partner until the wedding day which i'm sure your parents will not be happy with if that's the case i thought that like my dad would be very okay with that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no he probably won't i don't know but mm. I, I, do you know the reason why i don't know because i've never tested those waters mm. do you know i just don't feel comfortable testing the waters yeah all right so i mean what do you think would happen though that's the thing what is it that, that you're apprehensive about? That's exactly it. Yeah. You don't know yeah. what's going to happen. My dad is very unpredictable. Yeah. But your parents will be like a second be- betting stage. That's right. It could, be, it could be like a beta instead of an alpha. And then it's, you don't meet your parents until... Do you know what? The, the, logic, the logic that you're saying is very correct. <laughs> <laughs> You, I am not disputing anything that you're saying. I'm just not involved. Or <laughs> well, you could take it upon yourself to visit your parents themselves. How are they going to get that address? Yeah, mm-hmm. by themselves. That just, just that's very bright. And well, that's very bright. Well, a minute, isn't it the right approach, especially for 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 in your situation? Wouldn't your half need to be asking your father? Do you know house? what? That is completely correct. <laughs> <laughs> The steps of that logic I cannot follow. So, so what's supposed to happen, Caprice? Is this this guy that you're with is supposed to mm. roll up to your dad's house and say, I want to marry Caprice? He's going to say no. Before. He's going to say, whether you <laughs> met him or not, he's going to say no. <laughs> no, you never know, you know. Mm. Maybe, maybe, maybe we think, and we put up this wall, but you know. Sometimes when people get older, they mellow a little bit. No. No? No. <laughs> do, you, do you know what? I do feel like my dad's mellowed a little bit from when I was younger. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But is he mellow enough? Like, no, no. <laughs> no. I don't think there ever will be a day. But what is it about, you were talking a lot about the dads. Is it different for a woman, for a female, for the male? My mum's a bit enough as well. Mm. Okay. Mm. But I still would feel more comfortable introducing my partner to my stepmom than I would do my dad mm. even though I wouldn't want to do that either I'd feel slightly more comfortable yeah mm. maybe it's a like you said maybe it's a woman thing I don't know so I'm just asking the question do we think that um the daughters get a harder time yes. Yes. yeah definitely when bringing a partner than the sons yes yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Why? Why? Because, why do you say that? Because Thank you, like, yeah. the, the, <laughs> cause there's there's always like like the female could get pregnant and the guy can just run away, but the mother mostly stays like with the kid. It doesn't. Yeah. You don't really see mothers like running away from their children. I mean, you got have you got a sister. Yeah. Have you met any of her partners? Yeah. And how did you like handle that? Was you just okay with it? Like, did yeah, you? Yeah, you're right. That? You weren't staying there long. <laughs> So you see, there's an imbalance here, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. Yes. And it's yeah. because we can show the belly rather than you not being able to. 
provide us with the, the facts about what you've been up to. Yeah. I think also it's almost, I don't know, cause I don't have siblings, but the way that it's, the perspective I have is that when a boy brings someone home, it's kind of like, mm. oh, they could still be deciding. But when a girl brings someone home, they think, okay, this is yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So, Why well, decided? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, mm. I think that's it's a big deal. Is. Yeah. But I, I just want to understand, well, what would be part of that parents' vetting process? Because we're talking about the next stage vetting, because you've already done your vetting through your friends or maybe your cousins or whatever. But then when, by the time it's this, the situation escalates to your parents, there would be a second tier of vetting. But at the moment, I can't even get to that second tier because you're saying you're <laughs> till the wedding day. 100%. So what do you think, Jada? I, mean... I think the parents ask the same questions that you found the answers to, but in a way that makes it a trap. Like there is no right answer. Mm. <laughs> there isn't. You've just got to do the best that you can with what your answer is. Like they ask like what your career plans are, what what are your intentions? Which is all stuff that you should have discussed before you bring them to your parents. Mm. But because your parents are asking the questions, I think maybe sometimes they're a bit more direct or they come at it at an angle that's like... They're like, looking you dead in the face. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, it's just a bit more intense. Yeah. Yeah, but if that person's really into you, they'll be able to withstand that. But with the, the pressure of the day, the occasion, <laughs> I think you can get flustered. Yeah. yeah. I think it could happen to the best of us yeah. to get flustered. Yeah. And Especially as it's like multiple partners. Like, what? 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 Oh, no way. Way. I, I, I didn't get that. Like we skipped a few chapters. Explain what? yourself, Daniel. So, so what I'm saying is you're bringing two of your girlfriends around to your parents' house. It's going to be... Well, 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 have you brought two girlfriends home at the same time? Well, on I different did. days? But different days, but... But what? Know, what, what this is the stuff better for us, just like you said. Let me drop this mic. <laughs> Different days, but... But what? Know, what, what this is the stuff better for us, just like you said. Let me drop this mic. Different days, but what? What? You know, what? what this stuff better for us, just like you said. Let me drop this. Mic. Silly, silly. <laughs> <laughs> so, the See, this is how it's yeah. different. Oh. You can bring. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Oh. Can I do that? Please turn right now. Oh, oh what? You're spinning out. You're right. Don't call them by the other name. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Isn't this Mark? Oh, oh. sorry, Jerome. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Bernard. <laughs> Oh, this is very interesting, isn't it, viewers? So, <laughs> have you ever brought two different partners to your parents to allow your parents to decide which is the best one? And Let us know in the comments. <laughs> and also, like in my friends' culture, it's quite it's quite common. Like the oh, it's okay. your friend. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he, was getting, he was getting married, and he had like multiple women to choose from. Like, oh, uh, in the they, coach? Okay. Like, oh, they came yeah, over arranged well. marriages and things. Yeah, yeah that's oh, a bit slightly different. different. It's yeah, very different. That's yeah, that's a big jump. Yeah, but it's, still, it's, it's still a vetting stage, isn't it? It's still yeah, got a final one. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. You know, so, that's all right. That's their whole, <laughs> cultural <laughs> norm. Yeah. Do you ever have different cultural yeah. norms and values? That's mm. not one I prescribe to. Yeah. So let's, let's say we we subscribed to that that culture of, although we don't, because mm. because we just don't not that it's it's fine it's yeah. been going on for centuries but we just don't want to be part of it well i don't anyway but <laughs> what i would say is i'm asking the question what sort of partner would your parents choose for you do you think if you were subject <laughs> to an arranged marriage do you could you consider i don't know you know you don't know no i think my mom would want someone that's assertive mm. you know, head of the household mm but laid back at the same time. Mm. Can do ones and twos for her too. <laughs> <laughs> put up that shelf, put up mm. that TV. Um, I, 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 I don't know, with my dad, I think he just want me single forever. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that you could trust your parents to pick someone out for you? No. No? 100% no. I think I could. Oh, that's mm. lovely. You seem to have very, very nice parents. Um, very amenable. <laughs> 
Well, I wish I knew them. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Capri? Capri, sorry. Um, do you think that the person that your parents, your mum or dad, could choose mm. that you could really be into them or not? No. 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 Not at all. No, there's no way. What kind of person do you think they'd pick? I don't know. I don't think they'd pick anyone. Really? I truly really? believe they just want me to die alone. <laughs> no, but they must want grandkids. Yes. So they must no. pick somebody. I've got, I've got, got two cats. <laughs> There's are their grandkids. <laughs> when my dad, when I broached the conversation of grandchildren, I said, oh, dad, would you, if I had kids, would you look, look after them? We just got the look. <laughs> look after them. You can bring them and take them with you. Oh. Oh. Look after them. What's that? They've done their time. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> The one thing I would say is that if you're with somebody and they tattoo your name on their on their arm, that's a keeper. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Especially because like visual. What period of time yeah, time when like, they did it. Like years, then yeah. I don't yeah. subscribe to those cultural norms and. No, you can tattoo my name. I'm doing about, <laughs> about yours. I'm doing about yours. I'm not saying that can be reciprocated. No, <laughs> well, definitely. I'm just saying that if that person decides to tattoo you their name on their body mm. they're either really into you or a psychopath but let's just, <laughs> just, just say they're really into you mm. because there's ramifications of that tattoo that means they can't really be with anybody else because if they're with the next girl or the next man just say it's my mm. sister mm. my cousin yeah my <laughs> aunt oh, yeah. my grandma <laughs> <What are you? laughs> no <laughs> So, I think that's a statement. I mean, I saw that this weekend. Yeah, I think it's sweet. It, it, wow. In the, in the context. It makes a real big statement. Yeah. And especially if they're like more than 10 years later. And yeah. And that name's still on your arm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Right. So, viewers, tell us, would you tattoo that person's name on your body? Would you think that was weird? Would you think they were a psychopath? Or they just loved you? Let us know. Thanks for listening and take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.